and welcome to this week's coaching video. Today we're going to talk about mindfulness and mindset around training, nutrition and life in general. <laughs> um, so we'll just start off talking about um, training and how to be more mindful and Luke is going to talk us through that. <laughs> uh, so for, for me when it comes to training and mindfulness it is more of a, a mindset and that doesn't necessarily need to be the same for sort of like throughout the year or, or however you're doing it. Um, obviously for this, like a 12 week challenge or a, a program or anything like that, you might be pushing a little bit more. So from the a mind mindset point of view, you might be focused and you might be really going for it. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with actually sort of dialing that back a little bit as well. So there's, there is something wrong with going a hundred percent for all the time. Like it's, it's at some point there is going to be that crash. So, being in the mindset of actually pushing for a certain amount of time, but also being able to switch that mindset at the end of it and say, right, I'm just going to have a couple of weeks where I'm going to focus on um, some mobility stuff. I'm going to sort of tailor down the weights a little bit. Obviously, from a program point of view, that is almost done for you. Um, but obviously, I know some of you are taking on some big challenges with the 100 push-ups a day or um, clocking up some crazy miles. Um, that's absolutely fine over a short period, but always also just being in the mindset of, it's not a bad thing to actually tailor tailor something back and and, and relax a little bit with training as well. Um, that comes from the mindset of training long term rather than twelve weeks, hammer it for twelve weeks and then forget about it for the uh, for the rest of the year. Um, so getting into the mindset of just being able to continually go in and out of certain stages, like pushing a little bit harder, tailoring it back. That for me is like the, probably the the biggest thing when it comes to mindset of training. Um, and another one, I think this will probably go to a few people watching this, is the mindset around injuries as well. And that's, when it comes to training, it's probably one of the toughest things to uh, to get around. And I personally know that myself from uh, having numerous injuries. Um, but having that mindset of, all right, I can do squats, but I can do everything else. I can do this, I can do that. I can focus on mobility. I can get a lot stronger on my upper body. I can still, walk, whatever it is. So, um, Depend obviously that depends on your injuries, but having the mindset of all right, I can't do that. Let's just focus on this. Um, I think that is that is it summed up yeah. pretty briefly when it comes to training. I don't know if uh, you've got more no. to more to I think the that. the mindset of the three sessions a week that we mentioned, like that's your minimum, and then any more is a bonus. But that minimum just helps you realise that actually that's a long term thing that can always stay. Um, three sessions is pretty doable, even on busiest of your busiest weeks. Um, and if not, then you've got your steps as well. So it's that mindset of it's not all the 12 weeks, like you're saying, but it's also continuing on as well afterwards. So, yeah. Like some weeks we'll do more sessions and push a little bit more yeah. in one month, but it's okay to dial it back. Yeah. And um, same with mindfulness around nutrition as well. So we've got our goal review week next week as well. So I was thinking this week would just be a good week to be more mindful about what we're doing why we're doing it and where we're at, ready so that we can review it next week and then give the next steps as well. So when it comes to nutrition, just think a little bit about what we've set as goals, so about the calories, the fruit, the protein, the water, everything like that, and even just that structure of three meals a day. Just be mindful this week about, are you getting those three meals? Are you getting enough protein? Have you got that structure in there? And how do you actually feel as well with the nutrition? Do you feel like it's maintainable? Do you feel like it's just so much that you can't keep on top of it. Um, or maybe you're feeling hungry all the time, like hungrier than normal. So yes, in a calorie deficit, you will feel hungry, but are you like overly hungry and really aching? Because then we could actually increase uh, your calories, but still be in a deficit or just increase them and maintain because you might not even want to be in a deficit. So just being mindful, mindful, we were saying, sometimes we overcomplicate mindfulness and it literally is just, taking five minutes just to think and reflect on your week. So we've got a really good podcast coming up with um, Ellis, who is going to talk more about mindfulness and how we can be more mindfulness. Mindfulness? How we can be more mindful. Um, but yeah, so this week, just take five minutes for yourself. Think about what you're eating, if it's enough, where you want to take the next steps, and then we'll talk through it properly um, next week. And then with training, know that this isn't a all out all the time it will be dialed back going forwards and um, to suit your life and whatever stage you're at so yeah that's this well, week's on mindfulness pretty much covered <laughs> nice and brief that one yes um 
Obviously, with the goal review next week, it is going to be important that you fill out the check-in form at the end of this week. That is just a quick heads up now. There will be another message out on there, but it's going to be important that you get on the form. Everyone, we need everyone to let us know how you're getting on so that we can adjust things going forward. Um, I think we'll wrap up there. Thanks, Thanks for listening. listening.